What's up everybody, Chris Love here, and today I have a product review that I think you might like. Okay, today's product review is on this. It's the Hubson X4 Desire Pro H216A Quad Copper or Drum. Got this recently off Amazon, and I'll have pictures of the box so you can have a detailed look at it and what's all included with this quad copter. The front of the box, we have accurate GPS positioning. We have streaming live. Functional waypoints and follow me mode on the back of the box. We have the additional functions highlighted in the square That's the back of the box here's the side of the box Okay, so let's get into the box and see what we got Okay, here's the Quadcopter in the box. This is the quadcopter itself, the X4 Desire Pro. Got your little Wi Fi thing right there. Looks like a nice drone. Well made, sturdy. Prop spin okay. Okay, here's the drone. Quick start guide and box contents. Comes with four prop guards. They're always handy to have if you're flying next to something in, in a tight closed space. You don't want to damage your props. Over here we have extra set of screws for the props and the vehicle itself. We have the charger cord. Comes with a screwdriver. Phillips head. So you can take off the props. And here's the extra set of blades it comes with. And over here should be the remote. Here's the remote. Looks nice, well made. We are gonna do a test flight with this. Get it working and see how this thing works. And right down here is your SD card slot for your video. First go to your Apple Store or Google Play Store. Search for Hubson X or X-Hubson. It should come up. Once it's there, you install it. After installation, you turn on the app. Here's a brief view of the application. On the bottom, we have different configurations. This is the video editing for uploading videos. This is the back menu with additional features. It's time to select your quadcopter. Today we are reviewing the Desire Pro, so we will go into it. Then we will enter device. A quick look at the app. Across the top we have details, altitude, distance, speed, or signals, satellite settings. If you go into the settings you can change parameters. You got controller, map, relay, and others. This is a brief review of what you can do. There are more features. This is the map options. Where you can select different parameters for your map. This is the relay if you have one and this is others that's a brief look at the app now let's get our program to fly go to your Wi-Fi settings Hubson H216A should pop up click on it and connect to it go back to the main interface of the Hubson app and enter your device once you're there the menu will pop up it will ask you for a compass calibration which you must do before you take off so go ahead and complete these steps once you turn it one way it will ask you to turn it another way once that is complete it will ask you to bind it you hit OK the aircraft should bind next it will ask you for a GPS accuracy test I highly recommend this if you're going to be doing waypoint mode Okay, once you're there, now we're going to configure the controller and get it connected to the app and the quadcopter. Go to your settings menu, go to controller, scroll all the way to the bottom. If you don't have your Bluetooth on, it will ask you to allow. Go ahead and allow it. Once it turns on the Bluetooth, it will search for the controller. If it pops up, select it and then hit connect. It should connect you to your controller if it does it will say connection successful and you hear a beep 
we should be able to fly now. First test is going to be a waypoint view mode. Select the area you want to go to by hitting the draw button and drawing out you where you want your quadcopter to fly. This is a first time test so we're just going to do a little loop and see how everything works. And I want my point of interest looking right here. So that means the camera will focus at that point. Once that is done, we will hit submit and send the information to the aircraft itself. Then we will have to take off first. Once we're taking off and in the air, you hit the done button and it will say waypoint mode and you hit OK and it should immediately go to its waypoints. Let's see how it does. On its way to waypoint one, it automatically turns around and focuses the camera exactly where I wanted it to. Then it heads off to waypoint two. Soon as it gets to waypoint two, it immediately comes back towards me at waypoint three. So far so good. Quadcopter is performing well. This is a nighttime version. Now it's going to waypoint four. No problems. Next it will go to waypoint five. Once it got there, I decided to automatically land the vehicle, so I hit the home button and the vehicle returns. And begins landing exactly where it took off within three meters. That's it for this video. Next video we'll do another flight mode.